Control said about one out of every 68 children will now be diagnosed as having some condition on the autism spectrum disorder. So people have been saying to me, what can you do to help me? And here's what I want to do. Today I'm rolling out a policy to try to help families, particularly parents. A lot of parents who are working so hard around the clock to take care of their daughter or their son. I want more screening so we can find out earlier if there's a problem. I want to make sure that the insurance companies cover the services that families need to help their child or young adult with autism. I want to be sure we have the services that people need as they get older. I was in Cedar Rapids yesterday and a man raised his hand, I called on him and he said to me, what can you do to help me? I'm on the autism spectrum. And I said, well, you're doing really well. He goes, yeah, I'm doing really well, but I worry about what will happen when my mom's gone because she takes care of me and I take care of her. So we need more services, we need more support, we need to make sure that families dealing with autism, the caregiving that you are providing is respected and supported. I feel the same way about Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in our country. So I also have a policy about what to do for more research and more support for families. And I want to give caregivers a tax credit because you know, when you're taking care of somebody in your family, it's a child, a spouse, an adult, parent, or aunt, or uncle, or grandparent, that's an emotional, physical, and financial burden, isn't it? So we need to do more to help each other. And we need to do more on mental health and on substance abuse. Both of those are